Well, before we get to the message this morning, Franklin Graham put out an invitation for today uh, to be observed as a day of prayer for our nation. And uh, I don't think there's ever a wrong day to pray for our nation. And uh, so I, I'd invite you to, to make it a day of prayer for our country with all the things that we're dealing with right now um, in your own life and on your own time. But I'd, I'd like to lead us in, in a time of prayer uh, before we get to the message, if you would uh, join me as we pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning asking your blessings on our country. Father, we ask for your grace and for your mercy. Father, I pray that you would show kindness toward our country beyond what we deserve. Father, I pray that you would watch over us in the coming days. We know that it's been a year filled with uncertainty and filled with worry. And Father, we just ask for your hand of protection and your hand of blessing on us. Father, I know that one of our big concerns right now is this upcoming election. We know that your word tells us that you have the hearts of kings in the palms of your hand. We also know that your word tells us to pray for those who are in authority over us so that we can live peaceful lives. And so this morning, as we, uh, as we move toward this election, we, we know that you already know who's going to be sitting in that big chair come January. And Father, this morning we lift up President Trump, Vice President Pence, Vice President Biden, and Senator Harris. Father, we pray your wisdom on each of them. We pray, Father, that you would draw each of them closer to yourself. Father, we pray that if they don't know you, if they don't know Jesus Christ, Father, we pray that they would. And we pray that you would give them the wisdom to lead well in whatever capacity you place them. Father, I know that in a group this size, we don't all agree. I know that some in this room want Trump to be president. Some in this room want Biden. Some want it just to be over. But Father, more important than what we do on November 3rd is who we represent on November 4th. So, Father, I pray that you'd be not only with the election, but, Father, I pray that you'd be with your people all over this country, including us right here at Central. Father, help us to be salt and light. Whether our chosen candidates win or not, pray that you'd help us to remember that as important as the republic is, the kingdom matters even more. And Father, I pray that the way we conduct ourselves in the coming months would point people to Jesus. Father, help us to remember that that's our number one job, is to point people to Jesus. I pray that when things get out of control, that your people would be the ones that turn down the, turn down the tension. When things get fearful, I pray that your people would be the ones that point others to the reassurance that we have in you. And Father, I pray that you would use us who have been complacent and silent for far too long. Father, that you would use us to stoke the fires of revival throughout this country, regardless of what happens in two weeks. Father, I pray that you would bless America. But more importantly, we pray that America would bless you. Father, we love you and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> 